So we are going to make this easy drop down menu in pure react and tailwind css without any libraries. Let me show you the usage. It's pretty simple. It involves two custom components which are a parent drop down container with a trigger attached to it. The trigger can be anything we are using, a button for instance and the drop down item to hold all the menu items. Plus, you are also going to learn how to close the menu when clicked outside of it. With this simple hook, we are going to make use of it. Initially, we have this fake navbar with a non-functional menu button. It's just some simple styles. This will be our trigger. Let's start with our main component. It will accept the menu items as children and the trigger to open and close the menu. Now we'll need a menu state if it's currently shown or not. If it's shown, we'll display the children in an unordered list. To toggle the show state, attach an on click handler. We attached it to the whole container so that clicking on a menu item can close the menu. And now the drop down item. It's just a list item with some styles. Some gap for spacing if there is more than one item. Center vertically with some padding. Darker text with light background on hover. Cursor pointer to indicate it's clickable. Make the drop down container relative and fit children with. The list menu should be absolute and min width max content. Position right with some top margin. Light gray dividers between items. Rounded borders, shadows and hide any overflowing content. So let's check how it's looking so far. Place the trigger. I'm going to use some icons from feather icons. It's working as expected and we are almost done. For some variation, let's add a user info section. We need a circular avatar, username and email.
we want our drop down to close when clicked outside of it. To make this work, we need a custom hook. Call it use click outside. It accepts a callback function that will fire when an outside click is detected and it returns a ref that we will attach to our drop down so that we can check if our drop down is the source of the click or not. And if it's not, that means the click originated from outside and fire the callback. Use this handler as click event for the whole document. Let's use this hook. Pass this callback. And attach the ref to our drop down. And that's it. It should work now. One optional thing you can add is this on toggle function prop. In some cases, you may want to react to the open and close state of the drop down. It'll help you do that.